Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week is going to be a slightly different format to the video because I just spent the entire first half of this week just making models and I actually managed to finish making all of the remaining animal models for Equinox so I don't have any more animals to make and I thought it would be easiest if I just show you them all together now. So the first animal model that I made this week was the beaver as you can see here and this was a pretty simple model didn't really take too long to make and the beavers are hopefully going to be able to cut down trees and take wood from the trees and use that to build dams. The next model that I made was for the camel and these are going to be one of the only animals in Equinox which will be able to live in the desert biome. And I then made this very cuddly looking panda bear model which is obviously going to be able to eat bamboo and this was pretty easy to make because I already had the original bear model um, so I just had to change some of the proportions and the colours of that. So as you just saw, the next model that I made was the tapir model and these animals are going to prefer to live in the jungle or the forest biome. After that I had a go at trying to create a Komodo dragon which took a long time, I had quite a few goes at this and I'm still not really 100% happy with the final model. Um, but I don't really know what I could do to improve it and I'm really not looking forward to having to make the movement for this um, because it's going to be tricky to stop the tail from going under the ground all the time but that's a problem for another day and then I made the models for the horse and the unicorn which I was really not looking forward to doing actually I thought they were going to be pretty tricky uh, but in the end they turned out alright. So next up I made the models for the goats as you can see here and you can see a few of them in the world. Um, these are going to prefer to live in mountainous areas and they're also going to be able to knock into fruit trees and actually knock the fruit out of the trees so that will be quite cool. I then had a go at making a raccoon model which I had a lot of trouble with um, especially with the face. The faces are always tricky to do in low poly but especially for the raccoon it's got a weird face. And then after the raccoon I made probably my favourite model uh, which was the monkey and this was also quite difficult because it's quite different from all of the other four-legged animals that I've been making um, but it turned out alright in the end and I also made a baby monkey which I was very happy with and I'm hoping that if I can work out all the maths for it that the monkeys will be able to swing through trees and stuff like that. Finally, the last animal model that I had to make was the armadillo and you can see some of them in the world here. So that was all of the animal models finished, I don't have to make any more animals for Aquilinox now. Uh, but I do still have a few tree models to make and one of those was the mango tree. So I finished that off this week and created the younger versions for it and added that into the game. So that was the first half of the week and now for the rest of the week I'm going to get started with working on some of the movements for these animals and I'm actually hoping to finish off all of the movements for all of the animals in the next two or three weeks. Just before I get started with all the movement stuff today, there was one more thing in the checklist UI that I wanted to fix, which a few people mentioned in the comments of the last video, and that is that the scroll bar shouldn't be shown when there's no need for it. So if there aren't enough elements in the list, then there's obviously no need to scroll, and you can see the scroll bar is now not shown. So next up today, I'm going to start planning out the first movement for the date, which is going to be for the horse, and I'm going to try and implement some sort of galloping movement. It's 10 o'clock now and I've just been working on implementing this new galloping movement for the horses and I've just added the horse model into the game so that I could test it out. And the first test um, isn't a complete success as you can see but it's kind of working, it's kind of doing what I was hoping for it to do. Um, so the idea with this galloping movement is that the horse will kind of bounce into the air, it will rotate forward so that it lands on its front legs and then the back legs will come down and when the back legs hit the ground uh, it will take off again. And it's kind of doing that, but I think I need to change some of the variables. Mm -hmm. 
10.30 now, just having a bit of a break. We just quickly made some banana pancakes for a mid-morning snack. But the horses are now pretty much doing what I want them to be doing. I finished implementing this galloping movement, which um, I'm fairly happy with. It's working quite nicely. And it won't just be the horses that use this. Some of the other animals will be able to use this movement as well, uh, just with different variables so that they each have their own slightly unique way of moving. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to move on and um, I might add the unicorn into the game quickly. Next up today, as you can see, I've just added the unicorns into the game and um, as you can see, they're moving around using the same movement as the horses, but it's just with slightly different variables so that they look like they're kind of flying around uh, as unicorns do. So I might have got a bit carried away working on the unicorns, uh, but I thought that they needed a bit more sparkle. So I added a quick particle effect, uh, which you can see here. To finish off the morning today, I just wanted to quickly decide on all of the colours for the biomes in the game. There are going to be 9 or 10 biomes uh, in the initial release, and I've just added these extra biomes into the code here and set all of the colours. And you can see here in this world uh, quite a few of the different biomes and their different colours. So now I'm going to stop for a bit, I'm going to have some lunch, and then I'll be back to work this afternoon. Back to work this afternoon now and the first movement I've been working on this afternoon is the fishes movement which I had implemented once before but I wanted to redo it using the new movement codes that I've been working on over the last month or so. So I did that and the code's now a lot tidier, a lot more optimised. Um, I also added a couple of improvements, so for example when the fish are ill or close to dying they now swim slower and move around less. And next today I'm going to go for a run in the park because it's a very nice sunny day. So the next movement that I'm going to work on is probably going to be used by quite a few animals and it's going to be kind of like a walking animation. The animals are going to bounce forwards and every time they do they're going to rotate back and forth from left to right. Uh, so they'll bounce on their left side, then their right side, then their left and so on. And uh, one thing that I actually try to aim for when I'm creating these movements is firstly obviously not realism, but I'm trying to kind of mimic the way that a child would move animal toys around. So I always use my little green pig when I'm trying to work out what the movements are going to look like. It is half past five in the afternoon now and I've spent quite a lot of time this afternoon trying to tidy up the bouncing movement code and uh, I want to make it easier to implement new movements that involve bouncing. So I created this basic bouncing movement class which is the sort of movement that the sheep use and I can now extend that basic bouncing movement to create more complex movement that involves bouncing. So I've been doing just that with the new movement that I was talking about earlier and I'm testing that out here with the warthog and I've just implemented it very simply for now but you can see that it's kind of working, he's kind of waddling from side to side um, but there are still quite a few problems with this, so for example when the warthog stops it's obviously leaning to one side which isn't great. Um, also there's currently no way to center this movement, so after a while you can see that he starts to lean more to one side than the other, which also isn't great. So still quite a way to go with this movement, but it shouldn't be too hard now that I've tidied up the code a bit. So to finish off this afternoon today, I just wanted to take a bit of a break from the movement programming and make one of the remaining tree models for Equinox. So I did that, and you can see that growing in the world here. But I need to stop now because this evening I'm going out to dinner with a few friends. So it is now 10 minutes past midnight. It's been a long day, but it's been pretty productive. And I'm just finishing off today by getting a head start on some of the editing for this week's behind the scenes devlog video. Good morning everyone, it is Friday morning and today unfortunately I've just got to do editing for this week's video because I'm away at the weekend so I need to get all the editing done today. Um, I might have a bit of time later once I finish the editing to work on Quinanox again, but if I do you'll see that in the next video 
And speaking of the next video, there's unfortunately not going to be a video next weekend. I'm actually going to merge the footage for the next two weeks into one video and that video will be out in two weeks time. Uh, just because I've got a lot of other stuff going on in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to be in Wolfsburg over Easter, then my parents are visiting me for a few days for my birthday, and then I'm going to be in Munich and Frankfurt for a few days, so I'm not going to have too much time for development over the next couple of weeks, but hopefully I can still get some stuff done. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.